Hi, I'm Sir Steve, you're a streaming integrated robot. Hopefully you're having a good day, good night, good whatever other time it is for you. Bringing you another archipelago guide. Today we are doing Undertale. So Undertale, good news. You don't really need a lot. You just need the archipelago files and you need the game from Steam. From it, the steps are a little bit confusing for your first time around, but that's why I'm here to make it a little bit easier. So you're going to need two things. First is again, the game from Steam. Second is the Archipelago file. Archipelago file, you just click on that, brings you to this. What I would recommend is going to the latest version that has this green latest option. Once there, scroll all the way down to the bottom till you get to this asset section. Click on setup archipelago.exe and bada bing bada boom, you're good to go and get all situated. Once you have that, you're going to want to make a game file. I already made one and have it all set up here. Made it nice and easy, all that good stuff. Again, game file is more or less just what settings you want. Do you want to be easy? Do you want to be hard? Do you want to go and be gen go through the genocide route, neutral, pacifist, or go through all of them? But once you have your file downloaded and you have that all set up and the lobby is generated, you're going to then need to do two things. The first thing is you're going to need to find where you have your patch file, my apologies, you have your game file located. In order to find where the game file is located, easiest way is to open up the Steam application. You just right click on it, go to manage, browse local files. From here, you're going to need to copy this text up here. Just copy and paste that. We're going to need that in one second. Once that's done, you'll then launch your Archipelago launcher. Again, I updated to the 6.3 version myself, so it looks a little bit different compared to other times. This thankfully has a nice little feature where you're able to search Undertale client. Click on open. And it'll generate a new little window. Now Undertale special where you're gonna to have to go through a little step-by-step -step process. So the first thing is, you're going to want to make note of where you're connecting to. So you're going to be grabbing this number right here, and then be able to get it connected. I've had it connected previously, so that's why it's showing up there already. But you hit connect, shows a connection. I type my name as flower. And the second part, and this is where it's really important, is you're going to need to go and do what is called an auto patch. So all you need to do is type in slash a auto underscore P-A-T-C-H. And then that Steam file, that Steam file location that we had. I'm going to paste that right on in. Answer it. Boom. It's going to say patching is successful. Perfect. Now, once that's done, you're going to do something a little bit different than normal. What you're going to be doing is you're not going to be launching the game through its installed location. You're going to be going to somewhere else to install it or to play it. So what I recommend is going here and going into the archipelago file. Go to browse files going to open up a brand new window. Now in here, you should see a new folder titled as Undertale. Ooh, make it a little bit bigger for you guys. There you go. New folder titled as Undertale. Double click on that. And we'll have all the files from the game files, as well as an option for custom sprites. I have not dove into it really, but it says like put the folder name of the sprites you want to play as, and then you can go as that. Again, I don't know all that information fully, so I'm not going to mess with it. But if you want to mess with it, you can feel free to. Next, you'll hit Undertale. It'll launch up. It may prompt you saying, hey, do you allow this device to go through it? Through um, certain settings on the computer. 
and then you select a save slot. I'm going to select save slot two because I'm always selecting that one. And the game starts right up. You'll know that you have done it all correctly when you see this screen and it says archipelago down here. That means that it's connected. You're all set. Another way you can check is, let's type in my name here. Steve. Done. Yes, I am done. Whoa. You like doing neutral. Tells you the run that you're going for. Gives you the item button if you decide that. And also I chose to have a randomized location. I got start I got Snowdew. And I also got a monster candy. So you have four door what one, two, three, four, five doors available to you. I think Snowden is the white one because snow. And yeah, from there you'll be able to continue on through the randomizer. That music scared me, so I'm going to go back here and put on back the funny music that we had earlier. But yeah, from here, it's just a matter of playing through the game, doing whatever endings you need, the requirements that you have. And from there, you'll be all set to go. I do hope you enjoy this guide. Please let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. And let me know if you run into any problems or if it worked out for you perfectly. I've got nothing else for you guys, guys, and pals for us today, but I do hope you have a good day, good night, good whatever other time it is, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.